grocery shop. And um, I'm just curious whether it's sessions that you've listened to or, or sessions that are coming up. Um, anything that's that's exciting to you that, that you're looking forward to? It, it's fascinating to me. One of the things that I've noticed is like social commerce, right, has gotten kind of a bad rap in the last six months, depending on how you want to interpret some of, you know, Meta's pullback or, yeah. or TikTok's advancements. And I also think I look back at some of the presentations I've given. I think we've talked about social commerce for like the last six years. Like this is nothing new, right? Um, but I think it was really interesting, like how relevant it still is or how much it still gets mentioned here. Um, and I think for, for us, like we're still investing in it pretty heavily. And I think there's such a long way to go. Um, but I think it's fascinating. I think if you, if you take a step back and say, all right, social commerce is the buzzword. It's the specific side of things. At the end of the day, like we're looking to figure out like, how are we adding value to consumers? How are we inspiring them? How are we empowering them? And then how do we turn that into a purchase? Like if we look back at what we're trying to do, we're trying to sell products. Yeah. It's, it's about conversion, right? If you, if you go down the most common denominator, right? And so if you, if you think about Social commerce is just, I think, a buzzword like way to say, like, how are we reaching the consumer in a new way, adding value and driving them to conversion? We're spending three plus hours a day on social. Like that's kind of where we are playing now. And so yeah. um, I think it's, it's just relevant when you when you bring it down to that common denominator. It's, it's not a surprise. 